Yo, yo, what's the vibes? Back with another video. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment down below. I drop daily videos, daily uploads. Let's get right into it. Boom. Victor Cruz, Karuche Tran. It's a wrap. Now, I remember their relationship started, what, about three years ago? Right after she, uh, her and Brown split up. Now, it's being said that uh, the strain on their relationship came from the situation that's happening with the world right now. And uh, I didn't even know he lives in Jersey and she's in L.A. I thought he was in L.A. too. Oh, no. So they was, you know, basically apart. You know, it was said that they were FaceTime for 20 hours a day, et cetera, et cetera. Just saying basically that they they tried. They put the time in. They tried. They didn't just, oh, we apart. Boom. This happened. We out. Nah, they say they tried and all that. So. That's what's being said. He said he was going through being alone, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. She looked like she was having a good old time in L.A. <laughs> Keeping it honest, man, it is what it is. Read the article yourself. You know, she recently, I think, had a girls' night out. <laughs> so people are, uh, you know, they got, you know, they're going to say what they're going to say about that. But um, she's enjoying her life. You know, he should do the same. Life is to be enjoyed. Having breath in your lungs every day is a blessing. You know what I mean? No matter what you go through, it's really not that deep, man. Just the fact of waking up in the morning, breathing, taking in God's green air, man. That's really the true foundation of life. But off that. Brown's somewhere around the corner, though. He around the corner. <laughs> He's sniffing around, man. He like, oh, she's single? Oh, nah, because y'all know, man, if you listen Brown, at least his last two albums was about this girl. Now, I'm going to keep it honest. Their relationship had to be my favorite celebrity relationship because I really don't care about all that type of nonsense like that. But Brown, my guy, I've been following him since 05, 04, 05. So Brown, my guy. When he was with Riri. I was like, mm, eh, that's more industry. You know what I mean? That's kind of just an industry hookup kind of thing. You know what I mean? We, we both artists. It was cool. Then that happened and the nonsense and the more nonsense. We know, was, you know we, ain't, we ain't got to talk about that. Everybody know what happened with that. But when he got with her, that had to be what? 2011, 2010 maybe, somewhere around it. 2011, 2010. So when he got with her, I said, she cute. Nice little joint. I said, she fine, man. A little Asian joint. All right, cool. Now, she ain't really got no body like that crazy or nothing, but she's pretty. And I'm a dude that, you know, I, I love a pretty face myself, man. Like, you don't got to have the biggest ass and the biggest this. If you got a real pretty face, some men, we really appreciate that, ladies. Like, keeping it honest, like, if you got pretty features, like, nice legs, soft features, some women are pretty, but they don't have soft features body-wise. They be tough, tough like rug. Like, I've I, 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 I been around with different, so I, I know what I'm talking about. You get what I'm talking about? There's some women, you lay with them, you touch them, they, they soft, man. Like, So a man could fall in love with certain things like that. And just uh, the different conversation you have with a female, it's a vibe. Some women, you're not comfortable around. Brown probably felt super comfortable. Like when you get in a relationship and you get with a female, and this is for, you know, for ladies, if y'all listening, know the vibes, man. I'm dropping some gems on y'all ass tonight. When you get with a female and you a dude, man, and it's a real, like the vibe is right. It's like your best friend. It's like your sidekick, like your sniper. Like you got the AK, she got the she got the pistol, she the sidearm. Y'all go out places, y'all joking on people. You could catch different things, look at each other like, caught that shit. Like it's different. It's like my partner in crime. It's an amazing feeling. It's to the point when you guys get so close, people start telling you 
is that your sister? I've gotten that many times with different girlfriends over the years. Like, because the bond is so, you start looking like each other. Some of y'all might know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, get in the comment section. I believe Brown found a lot of those qualities in this female. People talk about the money. Money's not everything. I haven't spoke about money yet. <laughs> you feel me? Money's not everything. I'm talking about real life, being a human with emotion, not this way they're trying to have people live all emotionless and all mad all the time. And no, 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 no. I remember the days when people had emotion. When you went out with your girl, it was a vibe. Like, that's your best friend. That's your partner in crime. That's your dogs. You don't even want to chill with your guys. That's your homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's different. If you ain't never had that, sorry for you. You can't relate. But for the dudes that's had that, I could tell he had that because I've had that. And I always say it happens at least twice in your life. Maybe not for everyone, but you will have maybe the girl in high school and the girl after high school. However, it goes with her and that could either lead to you probably marrying or having a baby with her and so on and so forth in your 20s onward or it go to waste and you just being a player through your 20s into your 30s and because it's, it's, it's a trust thing because when you trust once when you're a kid, when you're 16, 17, it's a trust thing. You know, but then you grow up a little bit. You're like, all right, cool. That was light. You know, boom, learned that. Now you want to be in a big money. You in your 20s now. You find love again. It hit different. So you could say Riri was his teenage love. But when he got with Shorty, he was already a young man. That 1920. So he built with Karuche emotionally. And I wouldn't really say financially because he had all the money. She ain't built no money with him. But emotionally, oh, he built with that girl. Because like I said, the age, you got to always look at the age, the mind, and the mentality of the age. When they were dating and they started dating 2011, that boy had to be what? Early 20s, 20, 20, 22, 21, 20, early 20s, young boy. And then you grow with a person into your mid 20s. It's kind of hard to detach from them. And she knows that too. You don't think she was talking to Brown even though she was with Cruz? Yeah, okay. Know the vibes. It's kind of like, and for one, he brought her into the game. Got to pay attention to that too. He brought her into the limelight. Ain't nobody know who this girl was before Brown started cuffing. Ain't nobody was checking for her. She ain't had no movies. She wasn't on no carpet. She wasn't on no magazines. She wasn't doing nothing about nothing. Brown started being around it. You know what I mean? Bringing her to the forefront. He put her in the game. So, for her, I bet it feels like losing her virginity. He brought you in. A lot of girls, when they lose their virginity to a guy, it's very hard to break that emotional connection with the person you lost it to. Because it's a, a sharing thing. It's spiritual. It's more, like I say, man, it's more than just... Money and all that kind of low self-esteem bullshit that people talk about all the time. It'd be deeper than that. But nobody want to talk about that because a lot of people scared to talk about their feelings. <laughs> but that's why we over here on cable TV. We chop it up, talk crazy. Know the vibes. It's a vibe. We over here with it. If you if you new to the channel, hit that sub, man. Hit that sub button. We get busy over here. But nah. It really, honestly, man, I, I see to myself, that's how I saw their relationship coming up. Like, he, that was his second after Riri that he took serious. Because you don't take every girl serious you meet. And fellas, I'm lying. Every girl that you get with, do you take her on that, this my girl? No. You be like, all right, cool. This, she nice looking, she cool, but she don't got the girlfriend quality. You don't see yourself spending every day with her. You don't care to spend every, so that's not, you know what I mean? Then you got the ones where you meet, you be like, man, I want to spend every day with this girl. Like, it's just dope. Like, she cool. She funny. She she not uppity. She she chill. She know how to be around people and hold her position and, and be smart. And you're like, okay, this a rider. Like, she, she got her, you know, she got her own. Like Neo used to say, she got her own. You feel what I mean? Like, that has been lost in this generation. 
Now they're teaching the women to just have their hand out. It is what it is. But hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, stay subscribed. I drop daily videos, daily uploads. You're now welcome to K Will TV. I'm going to catch y'all next one. Peace.